welcome to Cocktails with Tia and the Jays. I'm Turquoise, my mom Janice, sister Janice, and today we have a special guest, Mr. K-Town J. Welcome, welcome. 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 First appreciate guest it, appreciate it for having here. me. All right, so we wanted to bring you on today to discuss a lot of your success. Like, I've been following you on Instagram for a while under my personal account, and then um, Cocktails with Tia and the Jays start following you as well. So I'm very impressed with things that you have been doing. What made you want to get into entertainment? I appreciate it. Well, I've been doing uh, the entertainment for a while. Like my mom was in it. So oh. my mom used to travel and DJ with a lot of the the acts and bands oh. in and out the city, you know, nationally. So I uh, I got it from my mama. Okay. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. So I've been doing it since then, talent shows. You know, I had a group when I was younger, like everybody, start off as a group, you know, mm-hmm. did our thing, branched off, and I just was doing me ever since, you know. Cool. Well, that's nice. what's up. I love it. Yeah, and you released that album not long ago, right? The Parts of Fame? Uh, yeah, I got a compilation. I had a few artists here in the city that I was working with under my um, umbrella, the K-Town umbrella. So I got Ted Flock on there. I got TK on there, TK Mafioso. I got L Mac on there. Nice. Uh, I got Big Tate on there. He's one of the the Drop Boy DJs. Oh. So you see him a lot in the uh, in the clubs everywhere, the Gate Ten and some other places. So mm-hmm. I had him on board. So I had a few people I was working with locally who I uh, believed in. Benji Bags, it's my guy. I got a single out with him right now that's doing pretty good. Yeah. It's still in the making. Nice. So. Right, doing the thing. Yeah, y'all gotta we check on the him way. out. Yeah. yeah, y'all gotta check him out. We're definitely on the way. And I know I've seen before too in the past that you were doing clothing. Are you still doing? Yes, clothing? ma'am. I got um, I got my own clothing line. Oh. K Town uh, clothing. You can go to ktownexclusive dot com. Um, I have everything from laptop covers to swimsuits to right. hoodies, sweaters. I love the hoodie. <laughs> to I got music nice. on there. I got a documentary. I have a documentary that I did when I got out of prison. That's when I'm, I just started picking back up my music just recently when I got out. And I just picked up where I left off. Blessed the, I sent my documentary out, and I, and I ended up getting an opportunity to get on um, the Roku channel. Oh. Yeah, tell us about that. You have a show on Roku, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what's the name of the show? It's called um, Untap Me and West. Oh, Untap so Untapped Midwest. Me and West. Okay. So have a lot of the the artists here in the city, in and out the city, just all through the Midwest. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted a different platform versus just social media and YouTube, so yeah. I, I I took my chances and sent it off to different uh film festivals and different companies. And I originally just was gonna get you know use my content to put on a platform and pay for it if I had to if mm-hmm. it was a bigger something bigger than what I've been doing. So, you know, been doing it for a while. I just wanted something bigger, and uh, they reached back out, and we just ended up being business partners. Oh, that's, that's what's so it started up. off me, you know, coming in there to to be a customer. We ended up being business partners for this oh, project. Oh, so. congratulations yeah. on that. Yeah. See, yeah. that's what happens when you a go-getter. That's mm-hmm. what happens. That's right, what's right. up. I yeah. love that. Never stop. Never stop. Like, right after that, I got a, a label situation with Empire and GT, so that's kind of what elevated my music. I tapped in with Burner. And his management and gold toes, and I'm managed by the same people who is behind them. So they they've been helping my career to the next level, kind of just getting me to the money. Cause I'm at the stage that's right now. I just you know, I just want to take care of my family. Come yeah, right, that's yeah. right. You know, do what I love to do and get paid for it. But you know, I wanna. I, I've been doing it a while, so I think it's I earned mine. So now yes. it's time for me to get paid for everything right. I do. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm right. To tell that's people, right. The value don't went up this year, y'all. Y'all see it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I did also want to touch um, bases with, so do you work with at-risk teens? Because I know that you brung out the real Rick Ross, and he spoke um, at, with at-risk teens. So how did that come about? It did. Um, well, I actually met a Rick on a, on a humbug just on some streets. I was in the streets <laughs> right before I went to the pen. I was selling weed to one of his guys. I was just here in the city. He was like, yeah, I know Snoop. I'm from Cali. I know this person, that person. I'm like, man, what you trying to get? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hear that. But, you know, he ended up calling him on the phone. Everybody like, okay, this nigga do got some connects. Mm-hmm. And so I, this was like almost 10 years ago. Wow. You know, this before I went to prison. When I got out, I just started DMing all the celebrities that I still remember that I had they 
numbers. I brought a few to the city here from Keisha Cole to a few oh. other people. I done, you know, I had, I've been in music, so I had uh, some connections. I was on Warner Brothers about seven, eight years ago too, so I stayed, oh, wow. I stayed connected with some of the people yeah. and management that I have. So I always spent my own money and brought them here though, just to try to have my oh, own. Oh, that's dope. So I didn't wait on some of the promoters yeah. and artists yeah. here to put me on nothing. You, you can't know how, wait you know on how that here, yeah. You know, they don't reach out to yourself. me. That's dope. <laughs> they don't yeah. reach out to me, but I reached out to them when I had my opportunity and my platform. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So just to show them that we ain't the same. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love it. And if you don't mind me asking, we don't have to go there, but if you don't mind me asking, because you mentioned a few times when you were in prison, do you want to discuss that? How did it have Probably an Probably for just selling weed. Life? You go to jail here for 20 years for selling a right. bag of weed. Mine was a little more complicated. <laughs> <than that. laughs> I wish it was just weed, you know, but it was a, it's a some bull altercation that happened, yeah. you know, I got over. I would say more self-defense. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. But, but look at you I now. Understand. I mean, yeah. like, but right, you know, it, and, you. and uh, I do work with the teens, and I've been working with teens for a while. I did um, motivational speaking. I've been to Central before. I had a because uh, our black teens need help. You right. They ain't got nobody really to look up or help them. You know, so guide them. You don't do no your guidance. part, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We, we had we had you. something to do though. Now in the city, it's like they got all this grant money, and they got the. So I try to tap in with. 360 meetings and some of the politics that's going on behind the scenes and from what I see this is me personally I don't think they really want to help the community mm -hmm. right and I, I agree it's all way. about money it's all about money and when I was there tapped in with them a little bit listened to them they were talking more about the problems versus the solutions mm -hmm. that's what and, and then when I was talking to someone about the funding and we can go further you know, as far as prison reform, was that Jay Z do prison reform? Meek yeah, Mills, there's yeah. a lot of celebrities we can get in through the city yeah. that we can funnel that through the teens. They can look up, they already look up to them. So yeah. why not have them that's in true. front of there? You know, and use me for the front man to get those people here. And that's yeah. the proposal that I they gave. They didn't want to do that. And they, they, they liked it. They said they want to do it, but ain't nobody. They ain't got to talk. It's all talk. It was all talk. They didn't even come to the uh, event. Mm. Wow. They didn't even come to the event. And they was promoting and talked about it. Wow. Great things. They didn't even come. Wow. wow. That's but why I don't do politics. It's all about the vote. Once you get the vote, they don't give a damn yeah. about you no more. Well, they go in there for what they doing But it. they go yeah. in there for what they want to do. Yeah. It's yeah. a self promotion basically. Self promotion. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we we maybe I should start going to some of the meetings. I think we you know, them town meetings they be having about what they gonna do with the fundings and stuff like that. Maybe we should go there because that's why most of us don't know about this you know, like right. the the grants they have for the mm -hmm. grants and stuff for the help the teens because they need a lot of help. And we had yeah. uh, we had things we had a lot of things the talent shows it was always something to do though when it was coming up. I yeah. went to yeah. North. I grew up in the hood too. Like we ain't we ain't that much older. Like we it just died down. Yeah. I came up under CW with Bud and them. Yeah. Everybody yeah. down to CW. So we used to do the talent show. They had a studio downstairs. Carl Junior had a studio, and then go upstairs and box. Mm. You know, so we had See, to, that's what they need. So we yeah. had something to do mm -hmm. right out of school. And I was in foster homes, you know, a lot in group homes coming out through my high school years, too. So, mm -hmm. so and then that saved me. That and the music actually saved me. You know, right. I had one foot in and one foot out. But right. that yeah. music had me at least one foot in. Right. Yeah. Yep. The days that I was doing that and traveling and moving around, I could have been easily, you know, tied up in else. some other shit. Even though I was, but mm -hmm. there's times where me being gone, Save my life from, or save me from prison earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, you would say music saved you. Definitely, definitely. That's what it gave me a need. purpose. And all men, especially black men, need something they can fall in they love with. Just an outlet too. Just yeah, yeah like, I don't sure. care if it's cars, if it's music, yeah, exactly. if it's uh, little fraternities in college that mm -hmm. they be having. Something. All men need something they do. They can belong to, no matter what it is. So, I just found mine early. You know, mm -hmm. and I was just through my mom. That's what's up. Yeah, and that's what that. these kids need, you know, is if they have, see what's out there so that they can decide, oh, I want to get into this. Mm -hmm. We need more programs like that. Because some parts like they're on their own and they yeah. don't have any other Or they, they don't know yeah, what no. it is that they like. They need to be able to see what's out there so that they can find that outlet, their niche. They need to be able mm -hmm. to see what's out there. And I think we need more programs like that. And then plus mental health, like, because yeah. they're dealing through traumas. Like, mm -hmm. we need oh, yeah. more therapists. We need more, I wouldn't say social workers, but we need more people that can help kids with 
with their mental health. And I would say um, there's a a lot of great programs, like Boys Town. Yeah. They have great counselors and therapists there. I just think that it's the lack of them knowing. Like, I think it's the lack of the parents. The resources, too. Boys Town life is not... Oh, that great. It's it's like more or less kind of they need military, to, ain't it? Right. They that's need to be like somewhere. We need to have programs. Something fun for them to do. That's going to teach kids not only credit and things mm-hmm. that we need. Yes. Mm-hmm. And entertainment and all that is cool. But right. we need, we want to perform in arts if you want to do that. But we need to t- teach them what's important. Because in mm-hmm. school, they never taught us none of that. Yeah. Yeah. Real, real life skills. Real mm-hmm. life skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stuff money. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. How stuff, to make money. Oh, yeah. All the other stuff you will learn as you go. But the yeah. most important thing is credit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so, that is true. So I mm-hmm. taught myself that too while I was locked up and got out with a pretty good credit People score. Don't so I teach, that. I teach these kids that. Yes. Best gift you can give somebody is financial literacy. Mm-hmm. 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 Exactly. Teach them how to get on their feet. Exactly. Versus, I don't give nobody nothing no more. I just teach them how to get it. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Because if you yourself, give it away, they'll yeah. keep coming, keep, keep coming, coming won't try to do it. Next, next, they week. next week, they at your throat. That's, That's true. true. Teaching a man how to fish. Yeah, right. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's the million dollars worth of game that people gave me, but I wanted to learn it, though, always right. doing it. Because our parents, they didn't. They just taught us how to survive, not yeah. to compete economically. But they these didn't parents know. ain't even teaching these kids how to survive. They out there surviving mm-hmm. on their own. That's why they're killing each other. We need something to stop them from doing that and get along and and do fun stuff together or learn how to do kind of something at a job. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just... It's terrible. I mean, when you look at it, you kind of behind enemy lines with it, but they see what it is. You see what's happening with all the rappers now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? They see it ain't no joke, so yeah. they can keep playing all you want to. These people got a place for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. they do. So you can act tough all you want to. As soon as them feds come and they taking lyrics, That's rap videos, they, yeah. all that yeah. shit. Yeah. So but you know what I mean? I've always yeah. thought that <laughs> you rap about being I'm surprised a because I always thought that stuff was fake. I thought they was just talking and not out there in the street, but saw what was going on in the street mm-hmm. and just was rapping about it. Right. I didn't know most of them was involved. Some of, I mean, this is a small percentage of the ones that are. I would say it's like a new, it, this new age rapper type thing. Yeah. Even, even here in the city, it's all, they just all cap. Yeah. They ain't no like, nothing. Some of these dudes like, ain't I never did nothing. They ain't never been through nothing. That's that. what I'm saying. You yeah. just rap about it because that's media. all people be talking that's about the, uh, violence and stuff. I thought they was just saying it to be saying it. Cause I was surprised in the Young Thug situation. Yeah. I think we all was saying Because yeah, we, we hear it. The people down in the A, if you were around there, then they already knew. If you know, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know. But they the dude wearing a dress, out. he got a whole dress on. They wrapped themselves Who take me with a dress series? Yeah. What he pulled his skirt up and said I, I had to know. chop around with the dress. <laughs> when he was taking a picture. I don't know that guy's name, but he was videotaping. Oh. I think he was a rapper. I shouldn't even bring it up because I don't know what I'm talking about. But he got shot and he was videotaping, but he died. Is it um, the little, what is it, little he, the 24-year-old? No, I think he was older. A rapper that was recording and got, and got killed? He was, first somebody was recording him. And then shots went off, and he got shot a lot of times. And then he turned his own phone on and started uh, recording. Oh, uh, you, you might be talking about honeycomb braids. Ain't no telling. There's been a lot of them. It's been a lot. But it's been a lot of them. He, but that passed. sound like the honey. And it was okay, so well, no, sad. Still... This guy passed. Okay. He died. Well, yeah, I don't know who that and is. they was like, they hate to talk about it, but that's on social media because he was videotaping it, and then they showed. That's how I knew about it. A lot of it's stuff been, I've been seen. What's that dude, the XS, t- X, 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 Tenacious? Did they call him a young thug yeah, or something like that? But he wasn't, like he wasn't, I think his name he wasn't one of them type of rappers. No, but he was like it. filming okay. himself in a car it. and um, he got shot and they were recording. Yeah, him. and then Some, he ended up in the back recording. of a truck. What Did he end up? Cause he, no, he was in the front seat of a car. First, people was recording that was sitting in the back. I don't think they knew they was finna get shot. And then fire went off. Then once he got shot, he turned his own phone on and started recording it. Mm, I don't know that one. And know he's he's light skinned and heavy set, but I thought they said he was a rapper. He could just been just in the uh, industry. Yeah, it's connected. Yeah, it's been it's been a lot and of it's sad past because yeah, it's five it's years because he or so. Yeah. It's been more rappers dying and going to jail than ever. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. Even rappers you never even heard of, like damn, who 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 is that? Yeah, yeah. because yeah. of they song. But you go to YouTube and see they got a following. Yeah, yeah. They, got, they yeah. got something going. Mm-hmm. You could be in New York, it's Philly going crazy right now. Everybody, Chicago always been up. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, that's where I'm they born, wild. and believe yeah. me, I won't go yeah. back to you. I told them mm-hmm. I don't even want to drive. They drive fast. <laughs> Have you drove? I never been in Chicago. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. The yeah. traffic. It's like yeah, a wow. video game, but, but, like but they it, know how like to do it. It's like that in all the major cities that I've been to. Ooh. I've been in Chicago, but the traffic is Cali crazy. Cali got bad traffic. Cali too, got But it ain't nothing probably like the worst Chicago. Traffic. Yeah, Houston, Cali is bad. Atlanta, Dallas, like all the big cities I've been 30, 45 minute drives to get from one place to the true. next. <laughs> that <laughs> is true. Don't nobody use their blinker. Yeah, Thank yeah. y'all. Just swoop right in front of you. Big road race didn't look at you like you did. You did Right. Yeah. Oh, you don't that's know if you want to pull over. <laughs> that's right. that's the only thing about us traveling. I like to be in a car, but I don't like the way nobody drives. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna be going out the state soon, right? Yeah, I got um, I got a um, couple things going. I got a a strain called Special K that I'm um, doing a collaboration with uh some cultivators on the West Coast. Um, All right. And GT, and the whole goal is to have my strain on the shelf in some of the cookie stores and some oh, of the that's other. That's what's so edibles. No, not no. The edibles. <laughs> no. My own strain. Okay. Edibles too, though. We got those too. But right now, it's going to be particularly my own strain to be in the cookie store and other high-end dispensaries. That's mm-hmm. nice. So that's, that's so that's the major play. That's what I'm on at. As far as the music go, I'm gonna be working on that for a while. Mm, so that's until that, and then I'm gonna put the music behind the other the things. The other things. I, you know what I mean? But right now, that's where the money at, and that's gonna be the endorsement. That's what I've always been looking for. That's where right. any, any artist make their money off the endorsement. Mm, yeah. Even athletes, they make more money off the court that's than true. they do on that's the court. That's true. You know, so yeah, I, I need something like that. And then you can have me in all different stores until mm-hmm. when it get legal here, I'll be in the stores here. So we're looking yeah. for properties here. But wait a minute. From my understanding, I don't know if this is it's true. Not they got some kind here. of weed, but they got some kind of weed store on left on it's Saddle CBD. Creek. It's CBD. Yeah. But they said they they literally sell you marijuana out of there if you it's ask for it. It's not real weed, though. <laughs> but what is they handing you, wanna, making you think? Uh, I'm, I'm just curious. curious. I don't know. I don't know about this. They said they I'm just curious. No, I'm just asking. I don't know it's if it's CBD. true, but how do you, how do you have a store well, open? I, I know they not. The no, I know they not black. black. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know they not. This, but this how do you sell what they do. that? It's, it's CBD, <laughs> and CBD is a law. You can have it's like a certain percentage of THC. It's like point oh. three. That you can have. You'll see them in gas stations. Yep. Yeah. You'll see them everywhere. Really? You literally can go anywhere and see carts and flower at the C you see C B D. It look it's weed. It just don't have no THC on it. Oh. So it's weed. Because I'm like, oh, you say, ain't trying to sell me something. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> if I don't sell me nothing, I ain't yeah, gonna get high off of it. It ain't got no it ain't got no THC on it. <laughs> and that's what gets you high, ain't it? It is, but <laughs> but the CBD does it does relaxes you too. Like some yeah, people yeah. use it for pain, yeah. Because yeah. 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 I had some, so it, it, I, it cracked level. me up, and but it does. Uh, my clients it didn't help me with the use pain. The oil. Really, mm-hmm. yeah, the oil. It helps with like Parkinson's. You can use it on like your that. hair, your skin. Yeah. yeah, you can use it on anything. I bought really. some hair stuff with the that. Yeah, it works. It. Yeah, CBD products like, it definitely work. I suggest it. But yeah, that's that's the plan to try to bring something unique and something black on here. Yeah, that's what we need. We get Absolutely. something black on, I would definitely. But shop these people there. don't they're not ready for black on because you got other black owned businesses down here who's quick to tear down another one. Yeah, yeah. They're not true. even that's doing so good themselves. But we they quick the to tear down each other. The that's why I'm so uh, the barrel, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's why I'm upset. They got they got this the worst here. Because if we stuck together, yeah, it was a fail. So powerful, we stuck together. If it was a fifth, I don't even want to stick with none of these people. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> but you know why? That's because they snaky. That's because you already so know what snaky, they're about. Yeah. I don't want to stick with y'all. <laughs> but, but that's because you already know what they're about. But I'm saying the young people coming up today, maybe we could the change The younger ones, a little different. You literally got to be like a kid. But if you older and you and you 20 buying liquor, I ain't got that. You on your own. Mm-hmm. I done did my part. Yeah. Way more for them than they ever did for me. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. It's a lot of ungrateful, a lot of hating, that and disrespectful is shit here. It you is. know what I'm saying? It is. So this is gonna be my I first and last season that. of that Untapped though. Yeah. Oh. So if you want anybody want it, they can just go on to Roku and look at any of the episodes. I got Bud Crawford on there on a few. 
I got him on an episode. He came, gave me a drop, and came uh, show love. You know, that's my guy. I'm supporting him. He get a lot of hate too. He the only yeah, one. He the only thing we got. And, so and, so and, it's just weird. Y'all just I weird. That he stayed. In his yeah, he stayed home. yeah, he better than me because I would have been. Get there. Some, yeah, me go. too. I would have been. That's me. I take off. And he was mm. like he literally. I mean, I ain't gonna say. I, I still my family yeah, still here, but I would have been. But you'll come and visit, but you'll probably move. And I'm going to expose the truth on all my other interviews on how it's two sides of Omaha. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? The hate, and then you got people that's trying to make it out the hate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People yeah. always got little slick subliminals and they ain't really doing nothing. Like, yes. They, I know true. some of their real life. Like, some of y'all struggling. We all don't struggle, but some of y'all Facebook really ain't got act, no... act like they right. rich and got it going on and ain't got nothing. Making yet. little slick comments mm-hmm. about who coming here, about the concerts, about food, about this, about that. When these people barely making fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, right? And they're not doing anything. You ain't doing nothing. So like, not they run the social decision. media here so quick, and then wonder that why don't nobody fuck with them. Yeah, yep, that is so true. Blackballed yourself. Yes, mm-hmm. that's true. That's, and that's very common here. Mm-hmm. Very, very common. common. That's what I said. And ourselves. people probably yeah. thought I was crazy. I'm like, everybody didn't like me in California, but it was a different kind of dislike out here. It's they different. literally want to take you down, make sure you on the ground. They, and then they, they want to step on they you. They going to watch you to death. Yeah. 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 And then make little slicks and yeah. But then and they, all that. they want to see you fall. They don't really want to see you get it. Then they look at yeah. Texas, Atlanta, and all them and want to emulate them. Mm-hmm. Be I just like them, them, but don't want to use the recipe that and none of the successful aspect, black people done did. For, yep, supporting they never them. got on by hating on each other. Right. right. Even though some of them didn't like each other, they still knew what the bigger, greater was when it came down to the South. Yeah. They right. always say the South. Even when T.I. and Lil' Flip and mm-hmm. Jay Prince, you had certain people to come in the middle of that and mediate that shit. Like, listen, we about to dead that, that is and true. we about to work for the South. And mm-hmm. UGK and some some people that was there, important people, you know, that, that was in the South that came to bring that movement together from mm-hmm. then yeah. to now. Because you remember a time it was just East Coast and West Coast. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, yeah. South, the South was wasn't even getting no love they like that. Me. Not even mainstream. Yeah. yeah. Now they run the whole game. Yeah. They've been running it for a while. Mm-hmm. I think Outkast, they they had they were pretty pretty much Outkast and Goody Mob. Little the Face, because that's Little Face. The Face Records. Oh, yeah, yeah, when, yeah. When they went down there, but that's just the melting pot. That's where it started. But you got Texas, yeah. though. Yep, that's yep. independent. Like, they didn't even need, when you got people in Dallas and Houston that got all those people and that support, they didn't even need, even they the Bay Area, yeah, even yeah. up when E-40 e- or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. like, you don't have a lot of mainstream artists from there, but they making money. Like, yeah, they they are. Are like what you in it for? They yeah. support each other and, and they ride with each other. It's that's a whole true. movement. Everybody got mm-hmm. their own movement but us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kansas City even deal with the Bay Area. They like big brother, little brother. Yeah. yeah. But we don't deal with nobody outside mm-hmm. of Omaha. Who do we deal with? Who so do we talk with? We can't even with? deal with Omaha. Exactly. Yeah, we can't That's my point. That's my point. Other, yeah. That's my point. Yeah. They talk about street politics where they ain't got no room to even be talking. Where yeah. half of y'all it ain't even right with y'all self. Y'all, y'all plugs, y'all paperwork, a lot of that, y'all shit ain't even right. Y'all shit ain't be speaking on nothing. Yeah. Y'all make yourself look bad. The city already look bad. And you ain't yeah. even got over half of the other stuff that we was trying to get over as far as the belly and all that. Because yeah. people ain't, don't even stand no business in their own family and their own neighborhood. Yeah. But be quick to speak on out-of-town business, mm, celebrities, yeah. and all that other shit. That's true. Facts. Ass backwards. So I'm glad you're teaching the them something yeah, today because yeah. it's just usually us three women. They probably ain't listening to us, but you feel kind of like the same way. You out I there do. doing the work too. You yeah. out, there, mm-hmm. out there doing the work. But he, like he said, he don't teach you, but That's he ain't good. giving nothing away. He then got That's frustrated, he he which I don't blame <laughs> you. you know I've been frustrated. It's always been me though. But I'm it's just saying been That's me. terrible. I've been frustrated. I'm sure you probably said, "Let's get together with." Maybe some of your friends and Artists. do this, and they don't want to. No, I'm talking about in Omaha, just friends in general. Say like they, they'll talk and say they want to, but, but they then won't go it. through it. Yeah, they'll talk. A lot of oh, them talk. Yeah. I pay attention to all that. That shit don't matter to me. It ain't never stop nothing. Right. right. It ain't never stop nothing. They I just keep that same way. energy. To. They want to come around when it start getting popular. Mm-hmm. Just stay over there. I right. Pitch outside. I'm not tripping at all. I'm in a great place right now. I right. got my own everything, and it's just going to build from there. That's so right. whoever wasn't on board, I'm not tripping off them. Good luck. 
good what? light. And he so cool. I got hit him up. I was like, can you come and do it? We would love to have you on our show. And he didn't give me like no run around, no, uh, no, nah, y'all ain't that popular kind of thing. He's like, yeah, yeah I'm with it, you know. That so was I appreciate nice. that. Because yeah. yeah, you are you. first guest we ever had. You could have been like, no, nah, like, but. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't like that. I, <laughs> even though there's a lot of these local artists that are, I done had some yeah. of them do that to me. And, wow. they, and they, ain't got, they ain't got more money than me. They ain't got more views <laughs> than me. Right. They ain't doing more than me or nothing. If I they had, got some nerves to turn me down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But not even that. We just try to charge me when I'm giving them a platform and giving yeah, them right, an opportunity. Right. And we trying to work you, together. Yeah, trying to help Certain them Certain people out I ain't, you know... You ain't gonna do it for everybody, right. but certain people who I do see grinding and got a, a base, I reach out to them. Certain people, and then see if we could collab on some, grow, and all that, because that's what that shit is always about: networking mm -hmm. on a massive networking. Definitely. Yeah. If we had more people that had that mentality, yeah. though, it would it wouldn't even be an issue if more people had that mentality. Yeah. Be, but people are looking at each other as competition instead yeah. of, oh, I can network we should, we, we should work together. We all, that's what I've been trying to say. We all, it's enough money out there for everybody. everybody. We yes. always say that how we yes. should network with other people. We just been hesitant on doing it. But yeah, I agree, I but I disagree. It. It's not enough money out there for y'all. Hey, <laughs> I want everything off y'all plate. <laughs> it's not, a, it's, it's not enough. It's, it's yeah. not enough money for uh, everybody. It's only it's only only the real gonna eat. Yeah, yeah. For the, the real. rest y'all back and shit gonna be y'all touching your back in the next yeah. minute. Let's see the, this year and next year y'all gonna be in the same spot. You're gonna be in the treadmill running fast but going nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And don't put all your eggs in one basket either. Definitely. Like how you have your hands in different ventures. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I think that's so cool. Yeah. And helping, uplifting people and trying to get, you know, show them the right path. The ones that want to be helped. Yeah. Like I'm so passionate just about my community, people and all that. But certain things, though, I, I ain't, I got a small patience for things too, though. Yeah. So I'm still human. Like I'm not yeah. about to deal with all the bullshit and the politics and none of that. Yeah. Right. Not for free. Right, like I do it whatever. You know, you pay me right money. I'll bite my tongue. <laughs> you do it for the Europeans. You yeah. go in there all day. You don't like them, but you'll do it if they pay you the right. Like, oh, that's so true. Go that home and true. talk crazy, but you gonna clock in. You gonna be that seven thirty. That's <laughs> right. so true. Right, for way less than what you're trying to make now for your own business. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So people just got to pick and choose their battles, but I'm just going to always speak the truth. Sometimes it might not be popular, but they can't ever say I'm a liar. Right. Sure. I can pull up receipts, y'all. So mm -hmm. for anything I can't I pull said, up no receipts. I got receipts for anything I say. Statistics run the world. From yes. sports to anything. If you ain't got receipts, it's just like if you go to court. Any mm -hmm. litigation. Whoever got the most black and white wins, right? right. They don't care how you feel. None of that matters. It's not about emotion. Mm -hmm. It's about proof. I'm going through something like that right about now <laughs> it's all about proof whoever yeah. with the most proof and, I, wins. and i'm digging it all out too. yeah that's all you need mm -hmm. yeah. whoever got the most proof wins and that's in anything right mm -hmm. that's true and you said this is gonna be your last first and last season of uh, first and last season untapped. of the untapped midwest mm -hmm. i got other ventures Make going you know so i did my yeah. part you know shout out to all the artists that's on there yeah hopefully Still hopefully yeah hopefully that that helped you know y'all in a better way, you know what I mean? It took y'all off of the platforms that y'all was on and put it on a bigger one. Yeah, yeah. that's true. And we have um, a little clip, a little promotional clip for you. Oh, do we? Yeah. Go. that you would like us to know about you, about your companies, your businesses, your venture, anything else that you want to touch on? I think right now here in the city, we got a few things going. Just pay attention to the ones that's moving. Yeah. That's moving in the positive and trying to put not even just for themselves, but they say you ain't a boss until you put other people in positions to win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will here be using that word. Yeah, too loosely yeah. and ain't never did nothing for nobody. Agree. Yeah. It's true. And so, don't don't be a hater. Yeah, don't you be know, a go hater. Go out and support. 
Absolutely. It takes nothing. It's free to, to follow someone. It's free to like a page. You know, it's, some events are free to go to and attend. You know, It do cost to support businesses, though. All <laughs> the do. other stuff is free. Social yeah. media, it don't cost nothing to hit like. She's right. But if you want to support any business, just like I support the Europeans, and you go yeah. to Burger King, yeah. spend a couple dollars here. Oh, and please Find stop. something you like. Please stop. Whenever you, I hate when, when it comes to black businesses, how a lot of black people are always trying to like, oh, well, it's the too discount. much there. Or oh, give me a discount. That is so ridiculous. Like, there, there's no way that a business can grow unless you don't be asking money. the white people you don't for no discounts you go on there yeah pay you pay whatever double <laughs> yeah, you pay what whatever should be. so so when a business is trying to grow understand that and just accept the Try prices support. and support mm-hmm. just please do that even That's if the you, least can't you can do get it all the time get it Sometimes, yeah. I mean, as long like, as it's quality something. for me, I, yeah. I don't mind paying because you're gonna pay for it somewhere else. That yeah. is exactly. As long as it's quality, exactly. and somebody and my people got the same shit, and it's quality, I'm gonna go here. It's right. kind of yeah. Yeah. right. But if it's not quality, and I'm not gonna spend with you just because you, you, you black. Right. black. Yeah. I don't support just black owned businesses. Yeah. I support good business. <laughs> that support black owned shit too. is over. <laughs> that shit <laughs> over. I'm a realist. I'm not supporting y'all no more like that. Y'all don't support me. I'm only supporting the the real, the ones that. Just trying to support everybody else, trying to uplift everybody. Mm, yeah. The rest of y'all need to get exposed. <laughs> I totally agree so with that. So the city can grow. Because y'all yes. hold people back. Y'all on the way. There's too many y'all on the way. So. Well, he know way more than what we know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that y'all on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know that y'all on the way. That's funny. <laughs> That's true, though. Very true. So, yeah, catch me. Also, one last thing before I go up. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my guy, Joe Jack. We... Um, we in a situation. We have an animated cartoon. All right. We're gonna be at the BT Awards. Uh, oh, wow. BT Awards weekend next month for a small viewing. You know, shout out to my guys for that. Uh, we got a character in there, Joe Jack. Uh, Hell's Flames. A few guys here from the city. What's the oh. name of the cartoon? It's uh, called the Chronic Tales. The Chronic Tales. Called right. the Chronic yeah. Tales. And Snoop Dogg's manager in them is behind the whole situation. I guess they. Putting the legs behind it, so it, it's it's like the boondocks. It's like a boondocks. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I love that. I love I, that. Yes, I hope y'all get on. I watch. I'll it. support. Yeah, so, yeah. Yes. I got the. I'll show you a little. I got a little something. Let me get off of here. I'm yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. But, Too yeah. bad you didn't. We could have put it on here. If we would. I don't have a full cartoon. Oh, I do, yeah. but I you know I can't um put it out. Can't put it out yet. Okay, can't put it out yet. I can't put it out. Yeah, yet. we'll wait until after mine. the show is yeah. over. But I can show you at... just the you know for the BT awards right. and show you exactly what we got going. Oh, that's and what exciting. the animation looks like. Oh, that's dope. Oh yeah, I will watch. I think oh, I will okay. watch. Oh yeah, that's what's up. I like that. I like the style. Of I love the yeah. Boondock yeah. song. Yeah, I love yeah, the yeah. Style. If there's anything sure like out. that, it would be fun. Yeah, yeah, I checked it out, the trailer and all that. So it's pretty funny. Dude who um, put it together from here. He's from Omaha. He oh. ended up moving to Oklahoma. And he's doing a few major things, too. He tapped in with Snoop and some of his people. So, cool. so we partnered up and did a couple things. Well, that's good. I ain't even been knowing dude long. And he's being realer than some of the dudes I've been working right. with for that's years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that is how it be. Sometimes done. you'll... The people that know you the most don't want you to to uh, succeed, so that's how it be. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's sad. But One of them true. songs. Shout out, Joe Jack. Yeah, shout out to you, cause I definitely will support. I'm gonna, it. Yeah, I'm gonna it check it out. out. What were you? Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. It must have not been nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we make sure we'll uh, check it out and I'll you know make sure to post everything on our page when it is released, the cartoon is released, and any final. Cartoon ktownexclusive.com. You yes. can see, uh, you can go to GT Digital and see some of my uh, some of my videos on there. See some of the other artists that signed to the label on the GT Digital uh, YouTube page and some of the other uh, Facebook and social media pages. You'll see me when you see the K Town in the air like the Batman symbol. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you know that's me. Hey Town, I love it. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Love what y'all doing. If y'all need any help or need anything from me, just reach out. I'll be back. All right. Oh, we appreciate it. our first <laughs> guest. Definitely. Y'all have got to Super give it up cool. for our first yes. guest. He's amazing. Yes. A lot of wisdom. Yes. Please support this man. Please. Yes. <laughs> we will support him. We for definitely sure. will. Yes. We- I do got treats for y'all too. Y'all go ahead and hit me up. I do got some of the Eddies. All oh, right. Do got some of the Eddies. Uh-huh. Get Chips, off of cookies. here. That's how we can talk. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what to do. <laughs> On my website. 
We all there. He got some all right. I'm about to Thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. That was amazing. You got to come back legal. one of these days. These are all in the stores. All right. All I'm right. Well, <laughs> well, well, we're about to get off of here, and we'll, we'll talk after that. I'm trying to get an animal, y'all. <laughs> Delta 88. Delta 88. Thank you. K-Town, y'all. Thank yes, you so awesome. much for joining us. <laughs> See you all next week. See ya. Peace. <laughs> that was dope. That was awesome. I enjoyed